When my team is attacking, I just double tap it and go red to add more numbers there. I genuinely just start with red anyway. Um, you can do that by double tapping. Oof. Come on. Yes. In my defense instruction, I use a uh, deep defensive line and wing back. That's if I'm lead. How you guys doing? It's Sep here. In this episode, we're going to go through sim coach mode. I'm going to explain it quickly what sim mode is for those of you who don't know. And then we're going to jump into some advanced tactics and tips for you to win more. Since it's hard to get GP this year, you know, sim mode is our only option. And personally, I mean, I've, I've started as Pesep because I was like uh, good tactically. And back in um, MLO days before my club started, sim mode was really, really good. It was like almost football manager. Required a good squad builder, good tactic, good player choices. I mean, back then, back in PES 2013, 14, I won every single online competition. You can see it on my site. Basically, you can check it. All the photos are there for proof. And that's how I started. You know, people asking me for question, how do I win all these sim games? And that's how I started uh, giving tips tactically. So I'm more of a tactical guy. I mean, pesologist, pesology means informative pes. That's it. I never claim I'm the best player. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to quickly explain what sim mode is. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, sim mode, lead your team from the sideline without controlling players directly, manage team strategy um, and substitutions. Now, of course, first of all, you want to make a squad right here. You're going to make a squad. Once you created a squad, you press triangle, you press square, sorry. Once you made a squad, you basically press a triangle and then squad list. Now make sure the team that you use for sim, um, if you press square here, use in cloud match cloud match is basically even when your console is off your team will still play for you in a way which is good you get gp for it weekly but it's kind of bugged out like i've never had my gp anyway so we're gonna start with first of all obviously your manager your tactic matters and then player choices and i i advise using a two-star team i mean i see a lot of people like using bronze and then you know fill the squad with superstars that could work as well i mean remember the higher your team strength, the more GP payout. Like if you use a three-star team, you get like 2,700 GP per game. If you use four-star, you get more. If you use five-star team, you get more. But it depends how you want to play. I'm talking about more consistency. At the beginning, I did play Sim simply just um, to farm GP. But then I thought, you know what? Doesn't matter how random Sim is, you know, in PES 2000, from PES 2015 onward after MLO, Sim mode is kind of messed up. It's just so random. You can have a shitty team beat a superstar team, and sometimes a superstar team beat a shitty team in a way. But there are certain things with some old school um, PES tactical tips, PESology. I found some consistency. I went back and I looked back as a MLO days, what kind of things I was using. And with this team right now, since I started taking some mode more seriously, with this team right now, I am in top 100. I think I'm uh, 91 on the rank worldwide. Now, my first 20 games, I was just farming. I wasn't caring about which manager I'm using, which players. My team spirit was like 46. But the last um, 40 games that I played, I've only lost two games with this squad. Now, yeah, you're probably thinking Aubameyang. Well, I have a low-rated Aubameyang once he leveled up. Obviously, I'm not going to be um able to use them now the first thing you want to do obviously every match you play like you play normal games online challenge cups etc you will get a free scout basically these players are free one star two star three star i want you to hunt for players to get the 18 white ball bronze and low rated silvers who has low contract and low cost towards the team strength so you will stay two star so that's what I want you to do. If you want to take Sim seriously, just play normal divisions, you know, whatever you do, co-op. Every time you get a scout, open them up. There are some one-star scout white balls. They are, so, you know, decent players. And I'm going to talk about, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how to hunt your own gem using the auction house, looking for particular players. Uh, and there are certain list of players who are gems anyway. So once you have your 18 players, you make a squad. Obviously, you're going to make a squad. And I'm going to talk about particular players that you have to use. Now, your manager's important. I would recommend always use a manager that is defensive style, frontline pressure, pressure and aggressive. 
and mainly counter because when your manager's position they do a lot of sideway passes instead of you know direct passes to go forward so your defensive instruction look for a manager that has these instructions defensively um, and your attack instruction whether it's position or counter you know these will work normally counter center position wide works very well and remember there are certain managers if you use a manager that build up is long ball then you need good passers and up front you need players with good ball control otherwise you'll just watch your team punting the ball away and your players losing the ball and you get countered so right now i'm doing very good with this manager um you can use fisher as well you can use uh, i am beaten aramburu left and right left and right with this manager i'm going to talk you about my advanced instructions as well so i recommend um 4 2 1 3 or 4 3 3 or a diamond formation um 4 4 2 with decent aggressive managers it works as well next you're gonna look for your players now i have a setup here i made a video back in piss 2016 as well now in this photo you can see this is a decent squad builder by player individual abilities and playing style card that's what you want to look for when you get these free scouts one star two star bronze white ball look for players who has these uh, cards basically whether it's playing style card whether it's skill card whether it's comb card you need kind of these players with individual ability and they will play very very well now ideally this should be your squad builder for sim even for normal squad builders you know normally you play normal divisions this is how it should be this is some old school uh pest squad builder by playing style card now on the front your striker should have a goal should be a goal poacher fox in the box target man dummy runner you know if your attacking area is wide you have decent crossers uh, you may want to use a target man or fox in the box if your manager attacking area center i recommend goal poacher now on the flank you're both two sides I recommend on the right side using a right-footed player with decent crossing so on the right side he'll use his strongest feet right foot boom crosses tap in and on the left side i recommend using a right footed as well so he can cut in and finish because that's what roman flanks do i mean that's what you want to build up that's what you want to look for i'm not saying don't build a team until you have this exactly but it's important what kind of players you use on the flank like if I use a player as a left wing forward and he is right footed and he's got terrible finishing but good lofted pass, then may as well, you, do you know what I mean? Like, if, if a player has good finishing and is right footed, then use him on the left so he can cut in and finish with his stronger feet. If a player has good lofted pass and some, um, you know, early crossing card, etc., use him on the side that he's got on the stronger feet. Now, your AMF whole player. Even if he's not a whole player, if a creative playmaker or dummy runner, um, just make sure he has decent attack and prowess, dribbling, passing, it's important. Your box-to-box -box is very, very important. It has to be someone with good stamina. Basically, a player with good box-to-box -box card. And your DMF has to be someone who's a holder. Anchorman normally defends um, kind of up and down, while destroyers normally defend sideways in a way. So I prefer Anchorman. But if you're using a formation with two DMFs, I recommend the destroyer now your center backs obviously you need someone fast and mobile with a tall and strong and your full backs you want a defensive fullback with a f uh, fullback finisher fullback finisher is really important this year you know in this situation when you need a man up extra man up that fullback comes in offers support cuts in and finishes really important so obviously one fullback who tracks back and the other one goes up and normally the side that i have fullback finisher i use a dmf on his side so when he overlaps the dmf kind of um covers up for him and your goalkeeper just look for a tall goalkeeper uh with every single goalkeeping ability 85 plus in my opinion the best goalkeepers from silver is merit from gold is donnarumma if you level him up and black ball obviously is the hair and that's how the squad builder is done i mean take notes of these get your pathology notes out if you have any question as well on twitter hashtag pathology you can ask me on the live stream as well so that's how we create the squad based on player style card now if you look at my team right now this guy is an absolute tank this is a gem right here i mean i got him from the auction house i just basically paid twenty thousand gp to get the um, two-star club he plays for and then I got the rest free. Now, this is a bronze team. This guy's an absolute machine. He scores, he defends up and down, up and down. 
And um, I have this guy right here who's a decent passer. He's got on skill control, acrobatic finishing, one touch pass. He's a little bit offensive. I prefer to use a destroyer. Right now, I don't have a proper destroyer or an anchor man, but it's working well. He's got decent ball control, lofted pass. He's assisting a lot of goals. And obviously, my uh, AMF. At the moment, I am looking for AMF, who's a whole player. My squad is still about to be stronger. Like, the more games I play, the more squads I get. I'm still looking for a, uh, another bronze left back. I mean, this guy has been really, really good. But eventually, he's going to level up, and my team strength is going to go up. I don't want to go to three-star. So I'm looking to replace him uh, with a bronze player. And this guy, obviously, he's tall, he's fast, absolute tank. And we have um, this guy right here as well. Denyar, he is rapid. I mean, I recommend higher defensive prowess, but, you know, this guy beside him, he kind of covers up for him. And Bamboo's been an absolute tank as well. Speed and bullet, early cross. You can see every player I have, he has some sort of complaint style card and player skill card. So when you open these scouts, one star, two star, check them, you know, check for their ability. I mean, you should know, like, for every single ability. If it's a DMF, needs good ball winning, needs both, need decent defensive prowess. If it's a center back, if he is tall, then needs high defensive prowess and ball winning. Um, normally, that's... If, if, so, if you have a defender who is tall and he's not fast with low defensive prowess and ball winning, that's rubbish. Um, for your fullback, obviously, you want to look for a fullback with pace and decent um, ball winning or... There are two types, either fast with decent ball winning or fast with decent um, ball control, in a way. So either going to be defensive or offensive. Sorry, my phone is going there. Um, and obviously your flanks, you need somebody with good lofted pass and the other side with good uh, finishing. I think every uh, player I have, he has some sort of playing style card or a comp style card. Every single player. Apart from this guy right here, well, he does it as well. Um, and on the bench, this guy is an absolute tank as well. He can play as AMF, he can play as a CF. Um, this uh, bronze center back is good. You should always have a super sub as well. Carcella, obviously in the future, he's going to be replaced because I'm looking for more bronze players. Super sub, it's very important to have a super sub on your bench. Supplement second half, almost guaranteed goal. Um, this white ball right here, obviously he's only level 5. And he's been doing all right. I mean, for a white ball, look at the status. That's how you want to look for for your Atwood players, you want to look for finishing, dribbling, ball control, attacking prowess, pace. You know, he has to have one of those. So this guy is pretty decent as well. And also I have this guy right here. I mean, every single player, that's what team, it's like almost unbeatable. Now, your goalkeeper is really important as well. Eventually, I'm going to have to replace Donnarumma and Aubameyang when they level up, in a way. So at the moment, I am using Donnarumma. You should always use... If, I mean, it's very rare. There is one bronze goalkeeper who is really, really good. I'm trying to find him. And uh, once I find him, I will uh, I will post it in a YouTube community. Like, if you go to the uh, YouTube uh, main page, you know, on my channel, obviously you see videos, playlists. Check the community. I'll update you guys there or on Twitter. So, I think that's pretty much how to build your squad. More of a tactical thing. And the next thing you want to do is... Um, when you obviously before you set up a game you want to come here it's really really important you want to set up any player look for a player who has captaincy because if a player has captaincy and you make him captain you will uh, your team will uh, you will reduce the team's fatigue basically it's going to be more motivated right now i don't have a captain sadly make sure to select your long um set piece takers to the highest rated one second free kick taker left corner right corner penalty taker players join attack obviously you want to select your top players that is really important now there are two options here okay if you're not watching your game then you can set your auto substitution to flexible basically whenever a player gets tired the computer will make a substitution for you just make sure your sub is in order you know defender midfielder winger cf and ai will make you sub normally i'm editing i'm aware of what's going on you know i make subs manually and you can also set your uh, defense attack level to manual as well. When you're leading, your mentality goes blue. When you're winning, your mentality goes up. I'll talk about that, how to change it during the game as well, once we jump into the game. I use everything off here, because most of the time I'm actually watching the game while editing. You know, I can see if anything's going on, and I'll... Look at that hair. He doesn't agree with the rest. Fucking hell. Come on. There we go. 
we're good. So that's it right here. And obviously you can set up your defensive instruction, right? Like if I am leading, leading by two goals in my defense instruction, I use a deep defensive line and wing back. That's if I'm leading by two goals after minute 70 during the game, I switch to this. And I'm going to show you in the game how to switch these tactics during the game uh, if you don't know. My third option, that's where it is like all or nothing. I basically go um, gag and press and attack and fullback. That's my one option, okay? I have another crazy option, which is I use defense on both of my center backs. Yep, wait for it. I use defense bo on both of my center backs and gag and press. And during the game, basically, I double tap the D-pad, go ultra red all out attack mentality. Now, that is crazy. I only do this if it's like minute 85. I really need a goal. I do that. It's very risky. You can try it as well. So, this is pretty much uh, my setup, but I normally do it kind of manually in the game. I haven't set it up yet. Um, and during the game right now, because I'm versing a lot of Aramburus, what I use, I instantly start with Gegenpress and full Swinger. Plus mentality red one, not double. And it's been, in the last 40 games, I think I've only lost two games so far. It's been going well, even though there's a lot of players that need to be replaced. But um, I'm working on it right now. That's how I make my GP, basically. I've wasted a lot of GP for spins. I still, I think I've got like 40,000 GP now. Because it works out. Most of my players has low contract in a way. Uh, they're bronze, you know, even my silver players. I would never use a player who his contract is above 1,500 GP. Unless he's really good and scoring a lot of goals. Obviously, Abamyang and Donnarumma will be replaced because Abamyang is still low rated. That's why the, the team is a uh, two-star, basically. And that's pretty much it. Now, once you play 10 games, I want you to do one thing, okay? After every 10 game, you need to do this, right? As you can see in this picture, some of these players has been replaced because they go higher rate, they go higher level and made my team three star. Now, as you can see in this photo, if you go to the if you go to your uh, my club members and then select uh, member list, and basically just go to buy uh, press square and then go overall rating, uh, ascend in order, and then hit R three on your squad to go to the classic view. Now, what I do, I just simply tap in R2 until I see appearance and then average rating. Any player from sim mode that I use, if his average rating is below 5.50, he's out. You know what I mean? If it's below that, he's out. Now, at the moment, Barawan is in trouble. You know, he's got a risk to be freaking fired if he doesn't step it up. That's another thing as well. Now, next thing, we're going to jump into gameplay right here. Ranks and match. Now, remember, sometimes if you check in here, what's on, I think is every weekend that are my club uh, online cups for sim mode. You can join them as well. Now, right here, okay, we're going to jump into the game. You find an opponent. You're just playing against someone el somebody else's um, cloud team, basically, which is sim. Now, the first thing you want to check, those stuff doesn't matter. Make sure your kid doesn't clash up you go to game plan hit r2 check the form okay i have a lot of players out of form right now i am in trouble because red form is really terrible I'm gonna put baron here as well actually i'm gonna start with fernandez he's been scoring a lot of goals now my squad is still a bit offensive because i have box to box here oxen and i have um carlos elena who's a whole player I would reckon, I mean, I need a, like a destroyer box to box, anchorman box to box. It's a little bit offensive, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard to beat this team. Do not look, do not look at the default players with Team Spirit 74, because most of the time these default players are pretty OP if you don't know what you're doing. Now, I think we are in trouble regarding, uh, duh, 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 duh. who do we have here? Agosto. We are in trouble regarding, this guy can play a fullback, so that's fine. Offensive fullback. We're going to put him here. Now, I'm going to be very, very offensive. So, I'm going to switch Oxen here. He's a box-to-box. -box. This guy can't defend for shit. And uh, we're good to go. Make sure I'm pl selecting players during attack. There we go. Kickoff. Now, I'm going to quickly show you the things that you can do during the game while you're watching. Um, all right. Now, here we are in the game. Obviously, I am started with False Winger 
and gegenpress. Now, normally, let me just tell you how to change things first of all. The things that you're in charge of, you can make quick subs, as, quick subs of course. When my team is attacking, I just double tap it and go red to add more numbers there. I generally just start with red anyway. Um, you can do that by double tapping. Oof. Come on. Yes. Pessology. Uh, friend. So, obviously, there you go. You can have a quick sub tab if you want to make any subs or you can pause the game and do it. It uh, doesn't really matter. But for some of you, like the things that you are able to do during the game, if you double tap the D-pad, as you can see, I'm going ultra attack. And now I'm going balance. And then I'm going blue. And then I'm going ultra defensive. I only go ultra defensive if I am leading and it's minute 90 something. Otherwise, if I'm leading by two goals and it's second half minute 70, I can't go blue. Um, either way, up until minute um, 60, I still go with gag and press, false winger, and red mentality, even if I am uh, winning. Now, obviously, uh, D-pad, if you, if you double tap D-pad up and down, you change the game mentality from balance to offense to attacking to all our attack to defensive to ultra defensive. And the other thing you can do is if you hold R, if you hold L2 and press D-pad up or down or left or right, you can activate and deactivate your advanced instructions that I showed you how we set up. And the other things we can do, if you hold and press your D-pad down or up, you can switch your instructions. Remember when I showed you guys, uh, you can set up a defensive uh, tactic formation. When you're leading by two goals, you switch to it. I don't need to do that right now. So these are the things that you can do. Another thing, of course, you can do is pressing, pushing your defensive line up or pushing it back. Now, you can press and hold your D-pad towards the opposition goal to push your defensive line up. If you double tap it, that will be offside trap. It's a bit risky. If you press and hold a D-pad towards your own goal, you're pulling your defensive line. Normally, when my opponent is does a goal kick, I just push my defensive line. If I know I'm under a crazy counter, it's very risky when you're under a counter and you push your defensive line deeper because your players kind of stops for a second and then they do it. So it's almost good to do it as soon as you lose the ball in the opposition, uh, in the opposition's box maybe then pull your defensive line but i don't play with that that much if my team is playing well and things you can do if i am playing against a diamond formation like fisher i don't use full swinger i normally just use um either attacking fullback wing rotation or hug the touchline against fisher against aramburu i'm beating him left and right we're using gag and press and uh false swinger of course i don't use counter target because with ai there's a feature it's called adaptive ai if you use counter target on a player, the AI will just tight mark that player. You know what I mean? So I don't use these predictable things. Oh shit, oh shit, nice clearance. So as you can see guys, my team is performing well. Um, I am 91 ranked in the, in the world right now with this team and probably it will get even better. I'll, I'll update you guys as well. If you have any questions, remember hashtag Pissology on Twitter. Uh, I'm more active on Twitter. You can join Discord as well. If you go to my Twitch channel, there's a button at the bottom. Boom, Discord. You can join that as well. I'm more active on Discord. I log on to it daily. Or even, even on YouTube, I you know every day I make my cup of cappuccino and sit back and reply to you guys. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Obviously, if you press, if you're away and you want the match to finish you know, quicker, just press triangle. Let the game play. You can still see things here. You know, whatever that you want to do, obviously you change, you don't change. You can still be able um, to see it there. Now, I think that's pretty much it, it is, guys. I, I went through everything. This is a 25-minute video, but I think it's worth it. Now, comment down below if you watched the entire video without skipping anything. And I'm going to pin you on my um, video's comment section. If you watched the whole video, just type in, I watched it all. Hashtag Pissology, and I will pin your comment in the video. If you are new, of course, if you enjoy the video, if you find it useful, drop a like and subscribe and share. Make sure to have your notification on because if you don't have, if you subscribe, you don't have notification on, your video may not show up. Anyway, guys, let me see if that's last minute. Okay, now this is the time where I'm gonna drop my defensive line. You can see the radar. Boom. And while I'm watching it, I may go blue as well. 
All right, everything is secure. Let's go back red. All righty, dudes. I've been Sep. Till next time. Ciao for now. And get your pass on. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn your notifications on so you will get notified when my next video uh, will be live. Greatly appreciate it, guys. Also, if you want to catch up on my live stream, I do live stream the My Club series as well. Uh, you can just go to my uh, Twitch channel. Link is in the description. You can click on past, past broadcast or the highlights.